Dear Elvis, you charismatic shit sucker, your voice may be a true pussy punisher, <laughs> but your acting is as exciting as a brick fucking another brick. 31 feature films that consist of Jailhouse Rock and the rest of them. Blue Hawaii obviously falls into the latter and is one of your most boring exercises. None of the drug-induced hallucinatory personality disorder sex of Live a Little, Love a Little. The bad doubles and Kentucky classic incest of Kissin' Cousins. What are you doing with my face? Or playing an actual character in Jailhouse Rock. Here your character Chad is so non-existent that the back of the DVD just refers to him as Elvis. Your love interest, Maylee, is equally boring, offering nothing new. A woman who is both a practitioner of paranoid jealousy and easily forgives. She's so stuck on you that she'll speed towards the airport at 100 miles per hour, deal with the world's worst actor, stalk you on the suspicion that you and a school teacher are playing house, and instantly forgive you after seeing you make out with sexy blonde flight attendant lady, even if it was just a ruse the whole time. So much does she flatline that she's not even the sole focus during Can't Help Falling in Love, your most famous ballad. Instead, you give the song as a present to her grandmother, a character who is almost never on screen, along with the composition balancing around the grandmother. While the romance may have been radical in the early 60s, with Maylee being half Hawaiian, that doesn't make it interesting. Also, neither is your cartoonishly racist Southern Belle mother interesting. Played by a 35-year-old Angela Lansbury, a woman who never ages because she was never young, this woman is more confederate than the stars and bars made out of cotton. Her performance hits as many notes as your stringless guitar. Even worse is your father who doesn't take the effort required to even phone in his lines about his apathy for your mother, instead just forgetting to remember his lines. Trying, mother. I'm trying. How awful their romance must have been in their younger days. But this isn't about your parents, this is about you, how you want to live your own life and not be bound to your mother. She wants you to be president of your father's pineapple empire, but you want to play music and marry the girl of your daydreams. That rebellious attitude must be why the first place you take your tourists is a pineapple farm that's probably owned by your father. Of course, as we all know, the only things worth looking at in Hawaii are palm trees and native workers on pineapple farms. And I'm glad you know it, Chad Presley, because you can give your school teacher and 14 girls the authentic Hawaiian experience, a storyline that, I must admit, begins with a classic line. Mr. Gates, do you think you can satisfy a school teacher and four teenage girls? Oh, I'll sure try, ma'am. I'll do all I can. Too bad for you, one of the girls is a sex maniac that is so stubborn that she won't eat your pineapples, sparks a fight that lands you in jail, and won't let you leave until you eat her pineapple. Oh, the misadventures you get in. At least you are guided through it all by a familiar face, Norman Taurog, who would end up directing nine of your pictures. Taurog is a real workhorse of over 180 films going all the way back to 1920. He crafts his film with one good composition and dozens of mediocre ones. While you and him would go on to make more classics like Double Trouble, Old MacDonald had a fun, e -I -E -I -O. Blue Hawaii is a complete dud, even if it does have all the sexually frustrated gay Hawaiian men that your heart desires well, let's get her off. and a decent soundtrack. Its big sin, however, is being boring from beginning to end. While I suppose that's alright, it really left me a big mess of blues by the end from being such a huge piece of shit. 